All right, folks, it is time to get some big crappie. That is all I'm after, that's all I want. I got 40 minutes, it's a good day because there's a cold front coming through starting late tomorrow or early Sunday. So I got a really good feeling here, folks, a really good feeling. I'm gonna get something. You can bet your butt. Oh yeah, I got one already. And it's a crappie. He's a smaller guy though. But hey, it's a fish. All right, little black. And I'm using my special little green and pink worm, but I also got a crankbait on the other rod and reel. I told you they were biting. I hadn't even been here one minute. Third cast. All right. So my drag a little tighter than that, man. Drag was screeching from a little eight inch fish. There we go. Oh, it was a crappie, dude. I seen it. Got him. There we go. All right, another black crappie. Another eight incher. This place has an amazing average, though. I rarely catch anything under. 10 or 11 inches. Not a bad guy. They're stacked up in here, I can tell you that. They're right underneath me, folks. Four foot deep underneath this. This is an old car that someone dumped in here. And they're directly underneath me, right underneath this sheet metal. Yep, already got another thump. There we go. What is it? Oh, it's a bass. Not a bad one though. About 13 inches. All right, nice little bass. All right, I got about 20 good minutes, and that is it. Got it. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, well. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. Little guy. Spotted again. I'm going up to the next hole. I gotta get to the good spot before it's too late. I ain't, time is not on my side right now at all. I'm going where I caught the first and only black nose crappie I caught, which was last October, about the same time in the year. In the next hole up. Uh, never been able to. They're a rarity around here. They're more common in other parts of the country. Some of them actually stock them in their lakes right here it was just a really rare coincidence and 
here we are, boy, and it's changed. There used to be a gravel bar right here. Boy, it's totally different. These holes, that's what I kind of like about rivers in one way is they, they change a little bit each year. You never know what to expect. This used to have a big gravel bar and was actually a lot smaller than this. This hole used to not be this big at all. Looks like it changed for the better in a way. A lot more brush. bluegill <laughs> Damn, bring <sighs> All right, I'm going to set this down quietly right where I caught the two crappie yesterday. Let's see what happens. I don't think it'll take much time at all to get a bite. There went one of my minnows. I got two hooks on this one. It's a little large mouth. He's about 10 inches. Nice crappie. All right, folks, we're on them. Dang, my minnow fell off again. So did that one. Gosh, just lost two minnows. He's not a bad one, eight inches. Mm -hmm. It's a black crappie. He's the, the same size as both of them I caught yesterday. It's a good average in here. Beautiful crappie. All right, we're gonna let him go. Do what I say, don't cast. You don't want to spook them. We're already making enough noise. Just do like we're doing, where you just set it down. I already got one. All right. Not bad. They're decent sized. They're not huge, but they're decent. That's a good for an average. Ow, fucker. Look what he did. Hmm. 
his dorsal fin got me bad all right folks been here two minutes got crappie number two already and one large mouth he's about the same size right at eight inches just barely a keeper I let him go as well I'm not gonna keep anything today unless it's real big because we are heading up towards st. Louis here about noon I ain't really got time to clean no fish if I get a real big one I'll keep it and just freeze it gonna be in a good spot as soon as it moves out a little bit man that's a big bluegill oh my gosh whoa that's a monster that's pond sized that's decent for here for any river oh I was gonna zoom in but hold on that's something happening here <clears throat> yeah I got something messing with it that's a big bluegill did he swallow it Something's playing with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a bluegill. I can tell. I don't mind if it's that size. How did I miss that? Oh, my God. Another crappie, folks. Number three. Another. This one's about seven. A little under average for here. Yeah, seven inches. We're making too much noise. Way. There's a little nicer one. Another, this one's eight again. One inch bigger. God dang it, my minnow fell off again. Ugh. It's always the minnow falls off right at the bank. No, he's almost nine. Everyone's black. I haven't got no whites yet. No, he's eight. Yeah, little channel cat. <laughs> At least he didn't swallow the hook. Pretty easy to get off. Might not even need pliers. Oh no, I can get him real easy. All right. Little channel cat. Inches long. Not a bad one. Yeah. All right, folks. She just got a channel cat, and it's better than the one I had. He's almost eatable real pretty spots yeah. I think I need the choirs.
Yeah, probably the same. Probably the first bass you had. Oh my God. Mm. Big spotted bass, man, on the crankbait. All right, he's about 13 or 14 inches. That's a pretty spotted bass right there. Nice one. Ah, I'm gonna have to have the pliers. Ah, maybe not. Oh, not a bad spotted bass there. All right. Spotted bass. <clears throat> Another one, about 10 inches, little guy. This one ain't very deep either. Not very deep right here. It's dragging the bottom. I picking the leaves up. Oh, whoa! I guess because just because it ain't deep don't mean there ain't fish in it. Guess what I seen following it? Another fish. Nice spotted bass. All right, boy, that's a decent one there. Yeah. And there was one following him, so I can probably get him too. Like they do, like them in smallmouth, they always follow each other when they're reeling them in. Two spotted bass back to back, folks. He's a little over a pound. He's probably 13 inches. Not bad. I know there's one more because it was chasing it. I know exactly where he's at there. For what just happened. A lot of commotion. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, I just pulled out. Two spotted bass back to back, and this one's a large mouth. About three fish out of five cast. I'm not even really fishing for bass, I'm fishing for crappie. I wouldn't mind a bass as long as it's four pounds or bigger, but also these are dinks in here, but there is some big ones. That's a real large mouth there. You got something nice, don't you? It's big. Whatever it is, it's, it's acting big. You might have a bow fin. No, it's a bass. There's a lot of bass in this hole, isn't there? Man. Oh, I got one too. <laughs> They're all in this tree. It's this tree. They're loving this tree. Man, mine's about 14 inches again. Yours is a largemouth, mine's a spotted bass. No, yours is spotted too. 
Mine's a 14 incher though. That's a decent spotted bass right here, folks. All right. I picked all four of these up on the Bandit crankbait. Different version of what I'm used to using. This I don't know the name of this one. Man, not bad. They are all on this tree that goes out, and there's a few branches underneath, and there's a trunk down in there. They're all hiding on that trunk. Doubles. All right, me and her just got doubles. Wrong kind we're after, but hey. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice one. I think that's finally a white. Yeah. No. That's hard to tell. No, it's a black. It just ain't very colorful. Yeah, we're talking. Just hold it close to the camera. No, you hold it. It's okay. There you go. Yeah. I can't hold it because I got my pole. Get it! Gosh! Oh my god, that's a nice one. That's a, that's a 10 or an 11. He's about 10 inches. Nice one. All right, she finally got it. We finally got a decent crappie. About, he's about 10 inches, and it's a black again. Yeah, nine and a half. Still the biggest one we've gotten today. Yeah, but it's it's no, it's in my backpack. Too much trouble. I don't want to get it out. I can tell by, I can tell easily until they get, no, don't worry about it. I can tell until they get about 12, then it's a little harder. Third catfish we've caught today. Hmm. Right, I'll put him back. Sunfish. Yeah, it's a big one though for for a sunfish. Not bad. That's a sunfish bluegill hybrid mm-hmm sure is finally got a big slabber yes I got it this time he's 11 or 12 oh yeah he's 12 He's a 12 incher, folks. Oh, yeah. Nice crappie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's 12. Right at 12. <sighs> 12 incher. Crappie. 12 inch.
Now that's what I'm after, folks. At least this big. It's a nice crappie. Good old 12 inch black. Let's see if I can get another one. I really need a bobber and minnow right here so I don't scare them. All right, I'm gonna put him back. I'm happy with him, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, another one. Yes, another 12. Yes, I managed to pull two 12s out of this one hole. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. Another 12 inch, now he's about 11. Still close. All right, I probably spooked him by now, so I'm gonna head out of this hole. Go up here with her. At least come back down with a minnow and bobber. Man, a 12 and an 11. That's a good spot with a minnow and bobber. Anything? This is the smaller one. The first one was bigger. Still decent though. I might go down there with a couple minnows in my hand. First one was 12. This one's only about 11. Yeah, they're nice. Ooh. Not bad, folks. You haven't gotten none yet? Huh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna uh, take a couple minnows with my hand. Oh yeah, that's a bite. Another slabber. This one's a little smaller, he's 10, or 9, I mean. And there went my minnow, darn it. Could have reused him. Not a bad crappie, though. I'll take 9 inches. Really hoping to get one of them black nose, uh, like I did last year, and I can't ever get one anymore. They're really rare around here. Nice little black crappie. And actually, I changed my mind, he's only 7 inches, not 9. Yep, that's the second smallest one I've gotten today. Yeah, this one can barely pull it under. Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, man, this one's 13. 13. Oh, yes. Man, what a beauty. No, 12. All right, got another 12 incher. Nice. A beauty. All right, let's see if I can get another one on the dead minnow. I only got two more left over here with me, so I'm going to try to get it on the same minnow. There we go. I think this is a bluegill, though. Yeah, it's another decent bluegill. At least it gave me my minnow back. Got another chance of reusing this thing. Another hand size? Or... Huh. Oh yeah, another one. Another 11, folks. Yeah, he's 11. That makes four nice ones. And it's time for me to go up. Because I got no more minnows. And I'm going to want to hit that big, I call it the super hole before I go. We're about to head back home in about a half an hour or so. Man.
Why is there a bobber right here? Honey, why is there a bobber? You got hung up? I could have got it. Every crappie I've caught today has been black. I haven't gotten any white. I caught four good ones out of that hole, or at least three or four. Yeah, four, but three three big ones and one seven inch. But all the other three were big like this. Tens and elevens and twelves. Look at that. Man. Alright folks, I'm gonna put him back to good hole down there really good lots of brush you haven't got nothing 